do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos so students in the last lecture we have no what are the laws of osmotic pressure which were went of charles law went of boyle's law and went of avogadro's law so based on these three laws we are now going to derive an expression for osmotic pressure which is related to the molar mass of solute so let us write it out so friends in the last lecture as we know that according to went of boyle's law osmotic pressure is inversely proportional to volume means if volume increases then the osmotic pressure will go on decrease so let us mark this equation as one and also we know that according to went of charles law osmotic pressure that is pi is directly proportional to t means as osmotic pressure which means as temperature increases then the osmotic pressure will also increase and we'll mark this equation as equation number 2 so by help of this two equation we'll now do the further part so combining equation 1 and 2 we have got pi is directly proportional to t but inversely proportional to v so by taking pi v is directly proportional to t therefore to equate it we'll get a constant and what is the and what is that constant that is pi v is equals to r into t and this equation is related to ideal gas equation which says that pv is equals to rt because the p stands for pressure but in this case the pi stands for osmotic pressure so therefore the both are almost same and hence we can evaluate in this manner this equation is similar to the ideal gas equation where pv is equals to rt in this case we know that pv is equals to nrt but in this case the n is equals to 1 means the number of moles of solute is equals to 1 therefore this r will be said to be a gas constant which has a value of 0.082 liter atmosphere per mole per kelvin or else we could say 8.314 joules per mole per kelvin so this is the value of r that is gas constant which we have evaluated during this equation but the equation is not over yet we have to relate this with the molar mass of solute and how can we relate this let us find it out so suppose we had we have took n moles of solute so what will be the previous equation that is pi v is equals to rt now this will be converted into pi v is equals to nrt but this n stands for the number of moles of solute therefore we will write this equation as pi v is equals to nb into rt where nb stands for number of moles of solute so by equating this equation so pi v is equals to wb divided by mb which stands for nb into rt therefore the osmotic pressure will be pi is equals to wb divided by mb into rt divided by v where v stands for volume of the solution in dm cube and temperature should be in kelvin and the weight and molecular weight should be in kg and kg per mole respectively so by the help of this we could calculate what is osmotic pressure so this is the final equation that we have got and we have derived an equation of the fourth colligative property that is osmotic pressure so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have liked this video and you have got an idea how to derive an equation based on osmotic pressure and the molar mass of solute so don't forget to share this with your friends and don't forget to subscribe egeda.com thank you so much